is where the essence of the Bhagavad Gita begins because it's Prince Arjuna's duty. It's his duty is Kshatriya to fight. Right. And yet he's telling Lord Krishna, I don't want to kill. I don't want to kill my relatives. I don't want to kill my friends. I don't want to kill my teachers. He's doing that. And what does Lord Krishna do? Lord Krishna laughs at him and tells him, what is this cowardness? Why are you even thinking in this kind of way? Because your thinking is at the worldly level. You're not thinking in terms of the transcendental. Your worldly considerations, the world of samsara, you are thinking in terms of mundane morality. You are thinking in terms of duality. Duality, good and bad, right and wrong. This is nonsense, Prince Arjuna. Mm. Nonsense. It's so the all distinction nonsense. there is the distinction between morality and duty that Krishna is, is making, Arjuna. Duty so, is transcendental. Yeah. Duty is a transcendental. This is now we, Philip, we are now entering into the essence of the Bhagavad Gita. Mm. Duty is the essence of what we do. And you have to perform your duty. That is a transcendental. Because that's what you were born to do. That's what you were born into. Yeah. And that's what you'll do. Now, the realm of morality is always in the realm of duality. Mm. Right, wrong, good, bad. That kind of thing. The world of duality is in the secular world. It's the, the worldly world. Morality, one of one of the problems, when I I think I'm going to tell you a little story now, Philip. Oh, please when do. I was in, 